So Alex Ferguson has said that when he met you in New York, when you were taking some time away from the game, he asked you to keep him, keep him informed of your plans with the possibility that maybe one day you could become manager of Manchester United. Did that conversation come to your mind when City made an approach to you? And if not, what, why not? Well, in, in, in maybe in that period, uh, it's not perfect right now, but it's a little bit better. My English it was, not, uh, it was not good. Maybe I didn't understand him, but uh, I don't remember when we were in a magnificent restaurant, restaurant, restaurant to, to having dinner, he suggests me or something like maybe go to Old Trafford. I don't remember. So I know he said that, but I don't remember. So we spoke about, about uh, life, about uh, football, of course, about the Premier League, but uh, he never, you know, sent me a message under the table to say, me, oh, maybe, you know, with United will be involved or something like that. I don't remember that. So just was two friends, to, no friends, or two colleagues in football and to talk about many, many, many things. And when he, I remember when we spoke a little bit fast, it was difficult to understand him <laughs> because it's not was easy for me. <laughs> but uh, it was nice because uh, he chose an amazing restaurant, of course, he paid. <laughs> if you had understood the message, would that maybe have had a difference in your opinion when you were thinking about your future in Munich? Uh, n no, because in that in in that in that period was you have already talked with with uh, uh, with uh, Bayern Munich, and in that mind it was clear to to live that magnificent experience to go to Germany. So I think Bayern Munich was the first one to to call me alongside to Manchester City. But I decided to put myself to go to Germany to learn Dutch and, and live that experience. And after that, Manchester City, was in the, from the beginning, he, they arrived and they said, OK, if I go to Premier League, I will go with them. Because I met Chiki, I met uh, Khaldun there before in, in the last period in Munich. And uh, they show more interest than any one other club to, to pick me up. And that was so important for me. And I, I saw, they, I want you, I want you, not just for the hypothetical titles you are going to win or you won in the past, you know, the fact I won you. And and that's why I decided to come to come here. And I don't have, believe me, any regret of that. <coughs> Pep, um, you've said before that you play possession football, you play your philosophy, your style, because it wins title. But if there, if, if there came a day when possession football didn't work, that you couldn't win titles that way, would, would you change or would you still say, no, this is the way football is meant to be played. I said last year, with the, the, like this for the proof, I didn't win titles. Never. That is going to happen. I'm going to retire. Because I don't feel it in any other way. I could defend more deep. I could defend like this. But I want to have the ball and I want to play. That is not going to happen. So if you see one game from my second team in Barcelona, or the first game, always I try to look for that. And sometimes it doesn't work. But that does not mean because the other is good as well. Or we are not good enough. But the idea that is not going to happen, never, never in my life. Can I, can I just, in, in the first few months with the B team in Barcelona, so 10 years ago, the, the results were a little bit mixed, I think, when you first started. In the beginning, yeah. yeah. So did you, did you have doubts and think maybe yeah, I'm you, wrong? Yeah, I had doubts a little bit in the beginning, but I was lucky because there it is not like here on in a high level. You play one, one game a week. And when you start, that is stop. Because you have time to think a lot, to review the Sunday to Sunday, you have a lot of time. Because uh, when you play every three days, you don't have time. And, and it was good, and especially in the first games, when I remember the first three games, I won, I draw, I won, I draw, I lose. You know, we play in artificial, in the fourth division, in artificial pitches when the so small. And Monday, I think I have to think about it. I have to change it, because we cannot play in that way. And I arrived Tuesday, and I said, we have to change because uh, the pitch is so small. But right Wednesday, I said, no, I'm not going to change because the alternative don't, didn't convince me. I spoke with my staff. An alternative to play in different way, and I believe, didn't convince me. And after Wednesday and Thursday. And it was so good because at the end of the season, we were champion. We promoted to the second, uh, another division. And, and in that moment, I said, if we were able to win quite good, because at the end, we were able to, to play quite good football, 
So in this small pitch and artificial, you are able to do that here. I can do that in a high level with better players, with better pitches, better stages, with many things. So that's why after that, no, no way. I so dubbed two days in a week after so that. So that, that was an important moment then for you? That is an important moment, yeah, because in that moment, also I am new. So I have not experienced. I had, even I had believed, I had many things that I believe, but I still I had to prove myself. I'm, I was 37 years old, never training a big, with big players, so I had to prove myself. And that showed me, okay, that is, but at the end it depends on the results. I said many times, the manager has to do what belief. So the manager cannot judge the other managers what they do. Forget about it. That's why you are the, 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 the media. So the manager has to do what they believe. That is the most important thing. When I manage a young player come to visit me or see, and same some advices, I, some advices or some comments, always I said the same. Do what do you believe. Don't make another thing what you, it's not going well. And, and, and that is, I think, the only thing I can watch. The people in success and any, any other uh, aspect in life, just because they believe 100% what they do. And when it doesn't work, of course you have to change for, you know, what you can do better. But always with something from inside. If don't. So the teams make success, make success attacking, defending, it doesn't matter. Make success because the managers convince the players to do that 100%. And what they convince is because they believe to the players what they have to do. You cannot convince the players with something you don't believe. It's impossible because they are so smart, they are so clever, so intelligent, so intuitive, and they get it if you are lying to them. And that's why. In all the history, in the all the history in football for the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, for them, you win for titles for many, many different ways. It's not one pattern. That's why I said before, football is. Is magnificent because you face teams with long balls, players who make defensive, more attacking, more long balls, or more it, the, different ways, and that's why it's, that's why it's top. And that's why the the thing the team had success is because the big clubs, big players, that is the most important thing. But especially, the you can convince to the players what do you want to do. Okay, last few guys. Yeah, okay. uh, the uh, the club have just tied down David Silva. Uh, for the foreseeable future. Could you tell us something about his influence on the club and do you go along with Jamie Carragher's assessment who said that he's City's greatest ever player? Why well, you say that Mike Summer is going to kill me. So so uh, I don't know I don't know he's one of the best but definitely if you say he's the best I, I'm not going to deny that. You know, but uh, I don't know, but definitely he's a legend. So the club, like Joe Hart, like uh, Yaya Toure, like Vincent, like uh, Pablo Sabaleta, like uh, players, must, all players was there were before. So the most important thing is, uh, is uh, I said before, so his typical of football, not the talent, talent survive in that league. So that counts how strong is he is, how competitor. We are delighted to extend the contract with one more year. So we are so, so happy for that. And of course, he's one of the best. So he has a special talent to understand the game, to know how you attack quick. You have to keep more the ball in some moments of the game. He's a guy who don't speak too much, but in the on the field, he never make a step back, and always in the bad moments make a step forward. So he's absolutely is one of the best. But if, if Jimmy Carragher say that, I'm not going to deny him. Pepin. Yourself and Jose uh, and your teams obviously had an incredible rivalry in Spain. And, it, and obviously at, at times that um, got a little sour and a bit ugly off the field. Has, has it been sort of most welcome for you that while you've both been in Manchester, the relations have been very civil and very good and you've not had all that, you've not had all of that, that stuff off the field happen? Now we are civil before we were not we were in civil. Yeah? No, I, I just mean I mean. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I understand. What's it's yeah, yeah, it's much. Of course, it's much better. Yeah. And in terms of, in terms of, I mean, most pe a lot of people would say that you two are the most successful and greatest managers of your generation. Is that is that a very heavy burden to carry with you all the time? Partly because the scrutiny is so intense, and for both of you. There is never, ever a hiding place, and you're constantly compared. 
and, and all the more so because you happen to manage teams who end up being direct rivals. Yeah, we, 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 we face many times in big, big moments. We won, we lose. But um, I said even the beginning, uh, and right now, I don't know it's uh, going to happen in the next 10, 20, 30 years. Uh, I'm going to beat them all the games. He's going to beat me all the games. My opinion about what he has done with the match never changed. So I, I know the way we, we see the game is different because it's, it's, it's normal. But uh, what I said before, so we love to compete. We love to win games, uh, uh, but believe me, it's not in a special situation when I, we beat the Mourinho teams at all. So uh, I want to win, but I am a sport man. When I lose, I accept the defeat and I try to learn on that for the next one and, and, and move, move on. So when, in the end of the results, I respect a lot of my colleagues, just as well, and, and he knows, I know, we want to beat each other. So tomorrow will, be, will not be an exception on, on that. But uh, uh, at the end, now it's, of course, what happened on the pitch is on the pitch, and after that, it, it's over. Pep, just go back to Sir Alex Ferguson. You've been there in uh, English football for 18 months. Do you uh, appreciate even more now the achievements of Sir Alex, uh, having spent time in, in such a competitive league? Definitely. Definitely, yeah. Uh, I cannot imagine to win 10 or 11 Premier League. He has done, I don't know how many. So, yeah, that's why he's sir. <laughs> so, it's, uh, it's magnificent what, uh, what he has done. I said many times, sometimes you are lucky to be manager one period when you have a, a group of generation and amazing players and you win a lot of titles. But he was able to generation out, a new one, and win again. Out, new ones, and win again. And that is so complicated. That's so complicated. So to maintain for a long time and being there and winning in a, in attractive football, in offensive football, in a scoring a lot of goals and not just in the Fergie times, you know, during during the games. So I respect a lot the you know the long long trajectories, come on. Career. Long careers. I respect a lot. And not all Sir Alex, you know, all the players like Arsene or or Jose or uh, or uh, you know because it means a lot for me because football is one day, but it's another one and another one. And at the end, I arrive a moment and say, wow, it's a long time. And big admiration so for, for the, his career. Yeah.